Okay, this is the third day. Uh, traps with the dog food in them. Hopefully they're better than last time. Because there's last time stuff right there. All a bunch of dead ones. Um, well. We got them in there. They're alive. alive. I see a couple dead. Okay. But overall. Yeah. Well, better than last really, time. Uh, yeah, I see only like a couple. Cool. Well, we'll, we'll open it guys, up. guys, the rest look alive. Good old dog food. Okay, this is first trap, and there's our live ones. Uh, John threw out at least a half dozen dead ones, so. Um, yeah, we're getting some catfish bait anyway. Number two trap. Not too bad again. See some oh, yeah. Head. I see movement. Not a bunch. It's been a couple days. This is the third day, so we came early on purpose. Not too bad. Let's see in there. Now we can see in there. Oh, yeah. We're doing good so far. Look at that. There we go, number three. Oh yeah, as long as they're moving, that's always a good sign. Yeah, this one didn't do too bad. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, quite a bit in that one actually. Mm -hmm. Really a good. A lot of wigglers. Yeah, doing good. Okay, number four, and the, this is just really, this is just your standard minnow trap. You can purchase oh. pretty much anywhere. Three. Three in it. Three. Hey, once in a while, the littlest trap has the most trap crawdads. More odds that this trap catching more, yeah. I know, it's weird. That's why we started using it, because it, it was actually catching a bunch of crawdads. Yeah, and you got the really small holes. Once they're in, they're really having trouble trying to get out, so. Oh yeah. Here we go, not too bad. Well, something's better Four than cross. nothing, yeah. Something's better than nothing. Last time it was pretty much nothing. Cool. Well, we'll show you the total amount in a second. Like I said last time, it was the kill. The craw kill. Uh, we're just letting them dry out on the bank here, so. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, here's our total. Did quite well this time. Same water. Go figure. A few days ago, they were dead. Okay, here's the result of all the crawdad traps. This is what we got. Not bad. Way better than last time. Look at that. Got on them quicker, so we got fresh live crawdads. I don't know what was the case last time, but we didn't chance leaving them out for that long. Came back in a couple days, and this is what we got. So now we got good bait to go on a catfish trip. I'm gonna visit my buddy Camo Cats and I'm gonna bring some of these along. We're gonna be using these and some shrimp, guts, and uh, then maybe uh, we're gonna do our other own catfish trip out here in our Delta too with them. Now that we got the bait, we can go scouting around. And uh, we'll see what we get. Usually springtime's the best time for us to use these things because like I said, they're just coming out of hibernation and when the catfish see them, they rip them. So, hopefully, we'll show you some fish with this crawdads.